Uh, so yeah, anyway, as 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 we said, uh, the last week we've been in Ibiza. Ibiza. Yeah. Ibiza. Ibiza. We've been in Ibiza. Ibiza. The guy on the flight was Irish and he said like the captain, the pilot, the flying man. Here we go. Ibiza. Bi- a no. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a <laughs> bit. I think because my voice is messed up. I can't believe I can't remember how he said it. But it was like a bit so, like it bits you. I don't know. Ibiza. That's what we say. <laughs> Anyways, we've been Ibiza. We've been a beefer. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, it was it was good. Yeah, it was really did you good. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I thought I would drink a lot more than I did. Yeah. So, I, but I think I got, I got so drunk on the first night, didn't I? Yeah. That like after that, I was like, ah, wait, I'll the first it. night is in when we landed. No, no, no. Oh, no, okay. no, no. The day after. Okay. The, the, the boat, boat day. The boat day, yeah. But what the first day when we did get there, because you were surprised that I wasn't hungover after the boat day. Yeah, because you were slosh. <laughs> yeah, I was gone. But I was more drunk. No, I, I, I was more hungover, sorry, after the first night when we watched, when we watched the boxing match. Oh, yeah. But yeah I, you only I, had a couple. Yeah, exactly. But I felt I had more of a headache and like more of the symptoms. Yeah. I, I, I don't usually get hungover, though. I don't know why. Like, it's not really a symptom. I don't know me. how you weren't on that boat. Because <laughs> you were there like... You know when you see in cartoons when people play drunk? <laughs> yeah, but... And they even get the drunk hiccups? You had that. <laughs> yeah. You were standing there looking at me, like, with a dazed smile. And I was just like, you are sloshed. But, and you literally looked at me, you walked across, and it was like, the boat was rocking a little bit. And you are like, I'm not drunk, it's the... <laughs> it's the boat. And yeah, I was no, like, oh, I, you're gone. I think I hiccuped literally in the sentence, I'm not drunk. It was like, yeah. I'm, I'm not drunk. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, okay, maybe I am. But at, at that time, like, I wasn't that drunk. I got way drunk. I got more drunk after that. But the, the, the reason why I was like walking around like I was drunk was because the boat was like rocking a lot. It was time. a little bit, but you were like everywhere. Yeah, it was. Like. It, it was when the Hennessy came. Like I don't know how Ethan <laughs> oh, knew. Obviously, it's, it's when I, the Hennessy. I, I, I was drinking gin and tonic, and usually like, I just keep that quite moderate. But then I really like cognac or like a whiskey, Hennessy, Hennessy, and all that. So. um but on tour, like Jeff Giovanni, our DJ, knows that I like Hennessy, but I, I never, I've never like made it known. I, I guess so I don't know why Ethan. Came, he was like, "Oh, just so you know, maybe just maybe he went around telling everyone that it's Hennessy." Uh, but then I just had like five glasses of just straight. <laughs> but I was like, "Then you were sloshed." But to me, to me, that was like the best day to like drink because the rest of them was like partying, yeah. like loud music, blah, blah blah blah. Whereas the boat was like it's just like our oh, friends uh, just chilling. Like it was like a nice day. So, so basically, we landed on the Saturday. Yeah. Sunday we had like a day on a boat, mm. which was to me that was the best day. Yeah, that yeah, was so sure. sick. Yeah. Uh, then the next day, every day after that was like a pool party in the day mm. and a club at night. Yeah. I ain't made for that. Now, especially well, Ibiza. What I was glad about though is the, is the pool parties. I thought they were going to be a little bit more mad than they were. I, I've never been to one before, so I thought it was going to be like a club night in yeah. the day. But to be fair, it was more chill. Like, it was you, a lot you can more get chill. Food. It's too hot. It's too hot to not be chill. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, the, during that week was the heat wave in England. Yeah, which was like thirty eight degrees, right? Cel- yeah. c- Celsius, centigrade. Uh, it's, sure. Celsius. Sure. Damn it! I've made centipedes. so many smart people mad. Thirty eight centipede. Yeah, they were, they were so long, man. Um, but yeah, so but while we were there, obviously it was still hot in Ibiza, but it wasn't as hot. It, I mean, was, it was like in the UK. thirty-four that day. Yeah, and then, and I think one of the waitresses was, was saying that was like the hottest day yeah. ever for her. Uh, but, but she said that she was like, "Oh, this is the hottest day ever." And I went, "Whatever." She went, "Not, not ever." I was like, well, don't play <laughs> I mean, with it's me. not the hottest day ever. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> she meant it was the hottest day she's had ever. No, no, I know. Yeah, that's, that's what she said. What? She's like, it's, hot, it's the hottest day, uh, like since I've been here ever. Yeah. And then I was like, really? I was like, well, not, not ever. Like, <laughs> Why'd you say it then? Yeah, don't, don't play with my emotions. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know about Ibiza. I enjoyed the holiday a lot. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to say like, I don't want to sound like I didn't. Oh yeah, no, no. But yeah. it's like, so yeah, we had the boat day, which obviously we choose the music. Yeah, yeah. And pretty much everyone there is like hip hop. Mm. Like, you know, Vic, Vic is EDM. Yeah, but he'll, he'll still appreciate it if he's on. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't. If if hip hop's on, he doesn't complain. Yeah, and all, yeah, and I don't think none of us will let actually let Vic control the or anyway. <laughs> so he has no choice. Well, Harry likes EDM. Yeah, but Harry does like hip hop. Yeah, and same with Freezy, right? He likes and Freezy. Well. Yeah, Freezy prefers hip hop, but likes EDM. Yeah, yeah. But I think Harry and Vic, Vic especially, are like actual EDM lovers. Okay, got you. Yeah. So then the next day, the first pool party was like house music. Yeah. But it was all right because it's daytime. It's, it's fine. It was very it's... mellow. And also it wasn't loud. And it wasn't like everyone's dancing yeah. right here, right now. So it was more of like just chill, uh, just lie down, you know, all this type of stuff. Then that day was future. 
That, yeah, that was a... So we were we like... clickbaited. Yeah, we were like, okay. Um, well, we didn't know Future was going to be there. Yeah. But we heard it was a hip-hop night. Well, first of all, yeah, his bodyguard got knocked out. Yeah, sucker that, punch. There was a video going around uh, where <laughs> Future's bodyguard literally got sucker punched like, from behind and knocked little, out, A little, little mank man. Yeah, Manchester guy. But to be fair, like, there was a few of them and they, they were all scrapping before that. See, I've heard like there's so many things wrong with that, though. Apparently, he like... I don't want to. Say, I don't want to say he had it coming because that makes it sound like he yeah. should be punched. Apparently, he was antagonizing them. Yeah, and then they were scrapping because in the clip where he's walking away, he doesn't have one. He is missing a shoe. Okay. Yep. And then the other thing is, I was talking to Steve, who's a bodyguard, like yeah. a big guy. Yeah. And he was just like, two things wrong with that. You are you are a bodyguard. Like that is what that guy's job is. Yeah. He was like twenty meters away from Future. Future is mm-hmm. on his yeah, own. That's true. Yeah. And like you are away from him. Secondly, you've just fought these guys. And you're now turning your back on a couple yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. What, like... like they're definitely going to try and run yeah. you. And they were filming it as well, and they were all, like, hyper, so something was going to happen. So. Yeah. It's a bit, I think, like, sometimes as a bodyguard, like, even though you might want to, like, fight as much as possible, like... The, 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 the like, whole point is to not have yeah. a fight. Yeah, same with police as well. You know, like, policemen who are, like... Or police people, police women who are up in your face and they're like, they like, put, it's like bouncers. It, bouncers, like, that enjoy, like, pushing you back. It's because bouncers, that's the one job where you, like... You can. You can, yeah, exactly. But it doesn't mean you should. Like, no, you my, my uncle was a was a police officer, and the best thing to do is like just dead the situation. Like, if you can dead it, then that's better than actually getting physical. Yeah. Obviously, if you if it needs to get physical, then that's when that's when you're supposed to. But if you can prevent it from happening, then you should. So this like future bodyguard, like I don't know the full story, but it sounds like to me like these who were filming these guys, he should have just he should just like had a bit of banter and just left it and just dead yeah. it rather than like actually fighting. But maybe he didn't have, maybe he couldn't have like deaded it. So yeah. Who knows? But anyway, yeah, so we were not sure whether Future was going to perform because we heard that Future left the country. Well, we didn't know he was performing in the first place. That, that's true, Literally yeah. the day yeah. before, someone was like, oh, you know, Future's there. And we yeah. were like, oh, gas, okay. Yeah. Hip-hop the, night, it, into Future. It, it was the day of it. It was as we were arriving to Ocean Beach, yeah. JJ found out. And then we saw the, the clip of his bodyguard getting punched. Yeah. And then we heard he's just jetting, he's leaving, he's cancelled his tour. And we all were like, oh, Future's cancelled, our night's ruined. And it was like... We didn't know he was there in the first place. Yeah, JJ was so pissed. He was like, for fuck's sake, I can't believe it. And I was like, yeah, but like, like, like you said, we didn't know that. Yeah. We just thought it was a hip-hop night. Although, when we got there, we got there at like midnight. Did you get there with us all? Yeah. When we first got there, it was hip-hop. Was it? Yeah, because they were playing like, um, uh, Fat Man Scoop, like, got a hundred dollar bill, put your hands oh, on. Oh yeah, I was there so, for that, yeah, but so it like, was like one or two. No, they played it again. They played it again. So as soon as we arrived, yeah. they were playing that. It, it, I heard that when we first went in and I was yeah. like, I walked in like, hey, okay. Because someone said, I'm not sure who it was, it might have been Vic or Harry. Someone said, because Future's not going to turn up, because that, that was a rumor at the time, he was like, no one's going to come. But like, like you said, like, it wasn't, it well, I think it was announced there. It, I think we just didn't know. Yeah, 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 that's true. So people, yeah, so that, that could have been true. Like, but as soon as we got in, it was like, it's crazy. Like the, yeah. crowd, the whole crowd was there. It, the, 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 the crowd was full. Like the, all the tables were like really nicely set out and it looked, looked like a really great club. And everyone, like JJ was like gassed. Yeah. Everyone's mood was like great. I was so up for it. I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, this is the only night we have that's hip hop. I'm so psyched. Yeah, I, I was wearing my Wu-Tang Clan t-shirt. <laughs> I, I literally, I picked it out for hip hop only. I was like, this is, this is the night. And then like five minutes <laughs> in, just switched up. It just turned to Spanish <laughs> electro funk house. Well, yeah. But before that, I don't even think it was a Spanish because there was definitely an hour and a half where it was pure Latina. I which was is fine falling asleep. It's not like, obviously, I don't know what they're saying because I don't speak the language, but like the music, Spanish music is still pretty hip hop, you know? Yeah, you, it's, yeah. It's, it's like the whole, the Cardi B song, like, it it's kind of sounds like that. Despacito and all that. I can, yeah. I, can, I, can, I can vibe to it. But what was crazy was like every single girl in that whole crowd was singing every single lyric. And I was like, surely not everyone here is from Spain. Because I, I Ibiza is like quite an international country, right? Yeah, I, yeah, they, they I don't all. know. But that went on for hours. Yeah. And then we heard Futures on at 3.45, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. And we were all there like... <laughs> uh, I was... T- I, you know how close I was to leaving? Yeah, yeah. We, well, I was sat down for a bit with you. And then you yeah. sat down with Harry and he split a drink on you. Yeah. So you got up. <laughs> well, his... Was that DJ? No, that wasn't DJ Charles. D- so DJ Charles is a is a is Tiny Tempest DJ. Quite a big was DJ. Was that that night? That was that night, yeah. But... The he, DJ before him, though... Okay. DJ Charles, he DJed for Future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but the DJs afterwards. before him were good. They, yes. they went back to hip hop a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, okay. And then Future came on uh-huh. and everyone got gassed and we were like, oh, okay, it's been worth it. Yeah. But did you see, so Future turned up with at least six bodyguards. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the Donny on the right? He was like, he, he had the meanest screw face I've ever seen oh, wow, in my yeah, life. Yeah. And it didn't let up. I don't know which one you're talking about, but I know a lot of them looked tough. So yeah, but he, he literally was just staring at people like 
if any of you even reach Just out for future, it. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'll rate future because that he actually seemed like he enjoyed it. Yeah, I think what he sounded like he was saying and what it, it, like you could guess is that he thought it was probably going to be more of like a regular club night where you just go and do a few songs like in the DJ booth. But actually he kept saying, he's like, oh wow, this is like a concert. Like, it's yeah. like a show. And the way the club was set out, to be fair, most clubs that I went to in Avita were set out like that, weren't they? Like, yeah. I think it's because it's because this you're there to see the DJ rather than just like any like house DJ. Yeah, yeah. By house, I mean like the house. Yeah, resident. Like, yeah. Not res. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, resident yeah. DJ. Yeah, not like... It's, it's, it's house. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> yeah. So it, uh, you're there to see the skill of it's like a, it's like a rapper. You're there to see the the performer. So it's more like a stage show. So um, yeah, the future show is really good because I mean I've I've heard from people I've heard weird things I've heard people say that future is insane live and I've also heard that he's awful live. So I'm like, which one was I it? I thought it was good. He's really good. Like it fit the like the vibe. Although afterwards, I spoke to a few people like Steve yeah. uh, and I can't remember who else was saying it, but they were like. Oh, he kept saying as well, he was only meant to do five songs and he did 10. <laughs> and I was like, everyone says that. I think they do say that, That's yeah. the classic, like, oh, yo, they all told me I could only play till like 10, for 10 minutes, but we gonna carry on, we yeah, gonna do yeah. one more song. It's like, well, if, if you weren't allowed to, they would come and say like, yo, you have to go off. Well, to, yeah, well, to be fair, when it, in terms of like the time it takes, sometimes people do say that to be truthful because I know like, for example, the O2, like if you go over the curfew, which I think is like 11, yeah, you get fined yeah. so much. It's per minute as but well. But like he didn't do 10 songs. Nah, he did no. like he did like four full songs. I think did, he, did, he did like this intro to about five. Yeah. So it's not, I mean, I still rate it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and then because like, I think everything that happened in that day, I think, for example, I think he may have actually pulled out and then the club could have been like, no, 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 no please, please come yeah. back. Um, it's an extra hundred grand. Yeah. So he could, probably did have the right to do whatever he wants that night. Um so that was that was yeah i enjoyed that night and then from that point on i was like oh no yeah here we go pool yeah. parties and stuff they're calm because yeah. the music to me yeah as i said doesn't really matter because you're not really there you're there just to chill but yeah. then the next night that tuesday was, night i missed it that was amnesia the f- we did amnesia yeah, twice in a i row. missed it yeah me and talia missed and you guys all really liked it didn't i you? actually thought well, i didn't like really like it because that's the night where i was so tired like I just I didn't, I didn't sleep I slept two hours you came back early yeah I came back early yeah um, I was just so 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 tired but uh, I did enjoy it while I was there but I couldn't really get into the vibe so uh, when it was time to leave uh, when one car was going back I, I, I jumped in it but I did enjoy the music because I think what it is like like I was saying before is like if, if I, was, I wouldn't choose to listen to house music or like elect- I used to listen to dubstep back in the day to be yeah. fair. I used to listen to that but I, I, I never would choose to like be at home like, if I'm trying to like chill I would never put it on um, but and when I've been at clubs before, like we went, we went to Croatia once and that was like crazy. I didn't really enjoy that. But this place, because like I said before, it, it's DJs, it's like well-known DJs and like the crowd are there to actually see them perform. And then they're not just doing like a regular DJ set for people to dance to. Well, that was Chase and Status that night, wasn't it? Chase and Status, yeah. yeah. It's like Andy C, I think I missed him. Um, Jows, you know, J-A-U-Z, yeah, he, he Jows. I um, hope I'm saying that right. Jaws, maybe. He was really good as well. Uh, but yeah, I think it's because they're performing for the people and they're not performing just as like a backdrop to the dancing. Like I, I, th- I actually enjoyed it because yeah. we could see that I could see them DJing. Like I just enjoyed it a little bit more, but it was definitely better the second night. Yeah. So when then you the came, next day we went again. Yeah. I really liked that. Well, they were playing songs that you like, right? So they were playing like. Well, they did Lincoln every now Park. and then. They played like in the end. They played an ever. Uh, they played. Uh, Evanescence. Evanescence bring yeah. me to life, and mm. they played like those kind of songs. They even played Lion King. <laughs> Uh, Play Lion King and then uh, Harry picked up Toby. Yeah, Harry picked up Toby and <laughs> Ethan picked up Vic. Yeah, you know, for the whole, was, um, the whole Simba thing. <laughs> yeah, but to- well, the thing is, Harry went like, Toby, can I pick you up? And Toby was like, okay, and he did it. Ethan didn't ask. <laughs> Ethan <laughs> literally picked him up and Vic kind of went like that, <laughs> started flapping. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> but that I really liked because it's like they did the music that they did those songs like every 15 minutes. Yeah. But they would then turn that into like a dubstep remix. Yeah, yeah. And it was, it was pretty like hardcore, but yeah. I still liked it because it was... Well, it wasn't even house. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it was, but it was, was even dubstep, house. surely. Yeah, it was like a part... Yeah, it was just electronic music really just, just remixed onto those songs because that's, that's what the club was like I was talking about in Croatia. They, would, they said it was a hip-hop night, so we were like, okay, let's go. Got there and it wasn't. It was just like, it was like five seconds of hip-hop, like Post Malone, and then just into like a remix. Yeah. And I was like, God damn, you give me... 
But for me, like I said before, it's, for me, it's like the expectation. So because we were in the hip hop night and they weren't playing hip hop, that's what was making me mad originally. Yeah, until yeah, they 100%. did. But then because I, I knew I was going to like an EDM night, I'm like, all right, well, I can't complain because I, I stand up you for know, this. You know you're there for. Yeah, so you, all you can do then is enjoy it. Was it a Steve Aoki night? That, that right? was an out of Steve Aoki. Yeah. And we, we, we missed the cake throwing, right? We left we a little did, early. because he came on at 3.45 again yeah, that's, this is what we, This is where we messed up in Ibiza. I think we just kept going so early. Because we yeah. used to go in like to a club at like, like half 12, one, right? And in UK, I'm, I'm pretty sure they shot at like 3, 4. Yeah, we got to be four. at like midnight normally. Yeah, UK. yeah. And then in LA, it's worse. LA shots at, at 2. Yeah. So it's like we get there at 12 and then you've got to leave straight yeah. away. Like you, can't, you don't even get drunk. You just turn up, wait, and then leave. Whereas in Ibiza, they were shooting at like 6 p.m. So, yeah. Sorry, 6 a.m. 6 well, a.m. I think you, like, Laura Laura got very tired, right? Yeah, yeah. Because Tali was knackered. Yeah. So Steve Aoki came on and I was kind of there like, all right, all right, it's starting now. And then he, did you see he got given an iPad? With a timer on. And it had, yeah, it said an hour and 10 left. Okay. And this was already like half an hour into it. I remember that because I said to Josh, I was like, I think, I feel like he's gearing down to stop now. And Josh was like, nah, they're giving him an iPad. It's got like an, an hour, over an yeah. hour left. And I was like, oh. So then that was just, we ended up staying for like half an hour there. And I was yeah. kind of looking at it like, oh, there's only 30 minutes left. But I could see like everyone falling asleep. The, yeah, the girls were just flagging. So I was yeah. like, and yeah, I, I, like I was at a point where I was happy to stay. But if Laura wants to go, I'm happy to leave. Like I didn't really care, you know, whatever Laura wants to do. To well, and the thing that annoyed me as well was, so we got a table for it. Yeah. And we could like look over onto the, the DJ booth. And for some reason, so the DJ before him mm. had a load of dancers on stage. Yeah. And then while Steve Aoki's playing, I'm suddenly like, I'm standing at the railing looking down, yeah. kind of like, yeah, two dancers come and stand next to me. And I'm kind of like, oh, like, what's, what's up? Yeah. Like, you're right. And then they end up, it ends up like 10 of them in our, in yeah. our table. I think someone we were with let them in. Um, they wanted to be there. Yeah. So that got, 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 I was uh, just confusing. kind of like, I was like, okay, cool. Be that. Like, I, I genuinely don't mind. I kind of want to watch this. Yeah, yeah. And I'm slowly getting pushed out. What's annoying as well, we had like the, it was like a table and half of it was like ours and the other half was, I don't know whose it was. Everyone kept saying that was like Steve Aoki's, but I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> like, not, if it is, it's not there. But we, so we, we actually used half of it, but then when all those dancers came, they could have gone in that half. Yeah. They still came in this half. Yeah. Um, yeah, it got to a point where it was just like, okay, this is like the time to leave. But we missed the cake throwing, which I know is like a staple thing. I've never seen him perform before, but he, he was really good. I know Vic was like, Vic was saying this is just like, his Ivita play uh, like show. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know what that means. And maybe it's just he's like low, low key one or or what. That's the thing. I'm, I've never seen him perform. I've seen him throw a cake though in the side men show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Well, he ended up. I think he ended up performing at Tomorrowland as well. I think I saw Vic tweet. Yeah. So Vic, he's closed it. Apparently, he's like yeah. ended it off. So we did that, and then the Thursday. Oh yeah. That's when like Vic, Cow, and Harry left. Yep. So. They they went to Tomorrowland. I don't know how they survived. I mean, yeah. Harry was drunk on that final night. Yeah, Cow and Vic. Oh, they like, left with us. Yeah, yeah. So the only people who stayed was who was it? it was just Toby, Toby and Lux. Calix, yes. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah. So I don't know how. Like Cow and Vic were a bit clever and like a bit more clever and stay. Like they didn't get drunk that night. Yeah, yeah. They got drunk beforehand, but not that night. Yeah. Harry was just like. Yeah. <laughs> Harry was so drunk. They went straight to Tomorrowland, and I haven't actually caught up with them yet. But no, are they back? Are they back now? Yeah, they're back. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, I spoke to Cow. He was watching Love Island, but no, I, right. yeah, I don't know what happened. All I saw was a few Instagrams. Yeah, it was mad though. It was like, like quite a lot of production, but it yeah. looked a bit much for me. It's especially just, after that's that not my music. Yeah, I, I, like, I can't do that. The holiday was good, but I was looking forward to like getting back. Yeah, like, it's nice to. Yeah, but you guys always do like a week. I, I always, I don't always, but like if I go away with Laura, we'll do two week. Like that's at, too much at Disney. That sounds but, awful. To yeah, me. but like, <laughs> for us as well, like, we've, we've done Disney a few times. Like, and if I did Disney in one week, I'd hate it because you, you have to fit everything in. There's so much to do. But like, definitely yeah. just just going to like a like a beach holiday, like Ibiza, Ibiza style holiday, and no way you could do two weeks. I think no. a week's perfect. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, then we had those two final days. Thursday. We had to Ushua, Ushua. Ushua, yeah, yeah. I did not like it. Yeah, it, it, like to be fair, when we got there, it was terrible. Like the sun was like so hot that day, and it was just such a small table. Um, but then I, it got once the sun went down, they moved the umbrellas. It got better, but also maybe it was because you guys left, so there was wow. more room. Wow, you hear that? <laughs> it might have got good because you weren't there. <laughs> yeah, that came out wrong. I think I enjoyed it because you weren't there. <laughs> well, this, I mean, the, the space issue. The, we did have a very small area, yeah. and there was like. 13 of us or something yeah and then so. some people went in the, into the crowd so yeah. that, that helped as well so after that it was kind of like yeah yeah just chill a bit 
And then the um, final day, we just chilled at the house. That was good. That was a good day. I really liked that day. Yeah. And then we, and we went Nobu. We found out there was a Nobu like 10 minute walk away. <laughs> yeah. I was fuming. Yeah. I wouldn't have got it much, but I, you know, like it would Although, have been nice to go. Like me and Tyler could have just gone and got some food or something. Yeah. Yes. It definitely wasn't, that, wasn't as good as London though. No, no. Like they really. forgot my and JJ's food. They forgot, they forgot JJ's food twice. Yeah. To be fair, he does order ridiculous amounts. Yeah, it's hard to keep up. He watch. literally, like, every time you get Nobu, he just hands them the phone with a list on. Or sometimes what he does is he'll he'll get, like, a, a chopstick and, like, indent the menu. Is that what he does? So he'll, he'll, like, or a fork, he'll, like, scratch the menu of what he wants to order oh so he can God. remember. I'm oh like, but, yeah, but I guess now he's started to do the more civilized thing of write it on your phone. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but, no, it was a good trip, like... I, like I, I'm not allowed. I kind of was worried when we saw like the itinerary. And it was like day night, day night. But yeah. I think like I guess because I mean personally like because the day parties weren't as like that crazy in terms of yeah like, they really weren't. weren't going hard. And I, I was just chilling more mostly. Didn't really drink much. I was just you know enjoying the sun. Although that day, the second day at the pool at the ocean beach was so hot, right? Yeah. That's hard. And that was so the day much. I didn't wear swim shorts for some reason. I wore normal oh, shorts. Okay. And then I text JJ like, oh yeah, you, you still come in here? Because he turned up late. Yeah, yeah. I was like, please bring swimming shorts. He's like, yeah, cool. Oh, did he forget? Then he, no, he brought them, but he turned up 15 minutes oh. before we were leaving. I was yeah. like, we're all going home now. I'm going to swim in the pool. Yeah. yeah. It was, oh, it was awful. Um, yeah. What I was going to say though, as we're talking about Steve Oakey, it was sick. Did you see he had that gun for the, for the uh, CO2? Yeah, yeah, yeah so that it, was really you know, you know the, for the people listening or watching, the uh, air that you blow out shows, we had it at our London, at our, our London show, it's like CO2. Basically like smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fire that out of like cannons, but he had like a, like a gun, like attached to a pipe, and he was just like gun. spraying the crowd. A gun. a gun. And then what was crazy, what I, what I thought was crazy was, you know when he jumped onto the barrier? I was like performing with the crowd. Yeah. So at one point he jumped in there, and I was like, oh wow, no security with him, just on his own. Like, because obviously when JJ did it, he was getting like attacked. Yeah. And then at one point, I was like, I was like no way he's gonna go. Is he gonna go in though? And then at one point he just rolled into the crowd. I feel like I feel like DJs and stuff. They have a their fans are still as hardcore. Yeah. But none of them have that that thing of like. Even if there are mosh pits, they don't have that same thing of like, oh, you want to just grab the performer yeah, and like throw them about. I guess it's, I guess it matches their energy. Like when JJ's performing, he's like going crazy and like not not aggressive. Like but Steve like, Aoki was going crazy. Yeah, but, but, but in more of like a, I don't know. I know what you're trying to say though. Like it's, it's, much just, more like it's just weird. It's much more of like an orchestrated kind of thing. Like it's JJ's he, is so. You don't know what's going to happen. Steve Aoki, you're kind of there like, it seems very like yeah, planned that's what, that's, that's, what he's going to yeah. do and stuff. I think that's what I mean Calculated. Well. When JJ does it, like even we don't know he's going to do it. So I don't think he doesn't know. Randomly. Yeah. Well, he, he'll, he'll take his chain off. So he kept taking his chain off. But at that point, so like the bodyguards are ready, but then he didn't tell them when he's going to jump in. So he's like, as soon as you get my chain, then it could be whatever. Yeah. So just jump in randomly. Where that, Steve Aoki, that was on the barrier for a while, quite a while. Maybe he was just like trying to gauge the crowd. Because then at, at one point he just rolled in and it was like crowd surfing. And then they just like brought him back i was like wow yeah. that's really, really polite maybe it's because he doesn't actually jump in like jj jumps into the crowd yeah like, they can't catch him whereas he, he can like just, roll onto his back yeah, he kind of just floats in <laughs> yeah and i feel like if they had jj they probably would bring him back whereas because he's in the crowd yeah it's probably different yeah i think that's probably what it is as well um, but anyway yeah it was good 